Welcome back to our channel. A very special episode today. Because we're gonna introduce you to our barn gym we're gonna build. Well, we already started it around two years ago, but we just put in some gym equipment in the barn and all the rest stayed there. So let's have a look how it looks right now. As you see, the front part is still used as um, a place for farm equipment and stuff like that. Also a tractor gonna stand here um, normally. But the whole back side is for our gym. We have already some gym equipment in there. As I mentioned, I'm gonna show you that later. But now we're gonna go upstairs to show you, I will give you a good overview of the whole gym we're gonna build. So my camera guy has to be careful because there's a big distance between the single steps here. Um, it's built by my uncle and he's really tall. So it's a workout in itself to get up there. But now we made it and we have a perfect view around the whole trip. As you probably have seen, it's not the newest barn, uh, it's over 100 years old, um, so it's a bit of family history as well for me. And, but it's a lot of space, it's, uh, the area is 110 square meters around um, and has three stages. So that is our big platform, our first viewing point. We've got a good view around the gym, as you saw by yourself. But as well, we're gonna plan to put on some big lights here, um, movable on both sides. Um, we already got a small one here, but this is of course not the dimension we are thinking about. We want some good light, so you can also train in the dark or in the winter time, then it gets dark quite early, we can train also on the evening. We are now at the second viewing point. Um, the best place in the gym area, in my opinion. That's why it's gonna be the VIP area. So for people like me or my cutter or our manager. And um, we're gonna put in a couch and maybe a, a table for business talks and stuff like that. Um, what also gonna be here, um, if there happens a box slide in the box ring, I'm gonna later present to you. Um, they're gonna be the place for the announcer because they have a perfect view on the box ring. We are now in our cardio, six pack and booty area. And as you see, there is still a lot of hay and um, some old wheels. Um, they all have to get out of there so we can make some space. And then there's gonna be some equipment. Uh, now I'm gonna show you the equipment we already have for that. So this is the current booty six pack cardio area. You see we got a bike trainer, quite professional actually, but it's a present of a good friend of mine. We got a six pack trainer. People believe me, it's not only ugly, it's also ugly to train on it. Um, your ass hurts. We have maybe to put some, some towel on to it also. And we got some dirty mats for stretching and push up and stuff like that. And all this gonna we move over there. Um, maybe put some other training equipment in as well. And then we have here a big space, as you see, for a boxing ring. Um, because we plan some box fights with a good friend of mine. Um, and we're gonna completely change it. So the flooring has to be uh, put in, we put on some ropes around us, like a real box ring. Um, for the space, you know, it's not like a professional, but I've got a wide ring span, and as you see, there's a lot of space. So you can really move when you box, and if you don't use it for boxing, we may gonna hang some box sack from the beams above us, so you can train alone as well. This is our member area for chilling, eating, stuff like that, playing cards. Um, you're also gonna put in an arm wrestling table, personal favorite of mine, I had really to fight for it, 
to get the space here for the armresting table. And of course, there's a lot of space back there we can use for future project, and we don't plan for it already. And as you can see, there's already some gym equipment, but still a lot of space is um, took away with other stuff. Um, that has to get out, of course. But as you see, we already started a bit with our concrete base. There's also a video on the channel. Not the best video quality, but we're going to make another one for that as well. A nice Delft platform, as you see. Um, also some stronger equipment, because we want to do some stronger stuff as well. A Husserfeld stone. Over there, there's a natural stone as well. Also a good way to get cheap equipment is natural stone. They cost like nothing and you um, fill up the gym and you have a perfect way to train some strongman style. You know, these here, normally you use them for cutting wood. Um, you can use them for, for put your weights on and then row or stuff like that. So improvise when you start your gym. And now we come to the real equipment here. An old bar, some nice squat stands for overhead pressing, squatting of course, all that stuff. This is very important. Um, for that bar, we also use our concrete base. You see, we have a lot of them already made. And follow me over there. There is, I think, the best part of the trip, our bench. Who does not like to bench? I think everybody likes benching. Um, I bought that, or better, I got that with the squat stand. And a lot of weights that lie on the floor around for 150 bucks. So have a look always to get used equipment. You can be lucky if you uh, look in stuff like eBay or so and get cheap about good stuff. Of course, the blades were very rusty. We had to uh, paint them again. But now we have a really cool bench, yeah, even with some spotter arms for less money. And here is another thing we built ourselves, uh, some nice farmer handles, you know, and it's built out of chunk as well. It's just some old wood I got for nothing, some old steel, and you can do farmer's box, you know? And if you have to buy something like that, you will spend a lot of money. And over your head, dear cameraman, you see our pull-up bar. Um, the positioning is not perfect. I can show you the bar. Um, there it's fixed, it bends a bit. Um, we have to change that, but the bar itself, um, when you don't look at the rust, it's very good. Um, but we're gonna, gonna clean that and paint it, and that's gonna be fine again. And for that, I also bought only the screw, uh, paid only the screws because the steel was scrap as well. <laughs>